All right, we out here. We out here. We on the trail. We doing our thing. I'm doing my thing. We is me, myself, and I. We, we all are here. Hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made. I'm excited. Hallelujah. Who he is, what he's doing in my life. Hallelujah. I praise him on today. Can I get a witness on this line today? Ha! <laughs> are you thankful? Are you grateful? Glory to God. Are you complaining no <laughs> give god praise and everything give him thanks this is the will of god concerning you amen so i thank god i got up this morning i said it was raining and i said okay it rained today and you know this old body didn't want to walk no way and i said okay that's a good excuse right and then it stopped raining i said well <laughs> I, I i guess i could and then I decided to go get that donut fix. Y'all know that donut I was talking about, that, that little tire, when the tire went flat last week. So I said, well, let me go take care of that. And uh, went and took care of that. And after I took care of that, you know, y'all know how the van do. And then the van, like, you can still walk. <laughs> really? Uh, you can still walk. <laughs> it's not raining. You got your donut fix. And you got all four uh, full tires. And uh, why don't you go to the park? Whoa. Well, here I am, y'all. Well, you know, the van won again. So here I am. I'm at the park, and God is good. But in the meantime, while I was at home and I got into my word, you know, there's life in the word. So if y'all want to live, get in the word. And uh, I was reading over there where uh, it was Matthew. Uh, uh, it was in Matthew, the seventh chapter, like 15 through 20 verse. And it was talking about beware. You know, beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing. You know, that, that that's what it was talking about. And it said, it was talking about how you would know them by their fruits. Because uh, a good tree is going to bring forth good fruit. And a corrupt tree is going to bring forth evil fruit. And that's the bottom line. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. And a corrupt tree cannot bring forth um good fruit and so and then i looked over there and 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 i and i looked over in uh uh the message uh part of it and y'all i love it the message part said uh diseased trees with bad apples ah y'all that's enough let's walk <laughs> let's walk and talk diseased trees with bad apples glory to god and that's how he described a false prophet he's like a diseased tree <laughs> with bad apples on it and so God wants us to be smart in these days, you know, everything's going on, you know, you hear people hacking your accounts and people trying to duplicate you. Uh, we get all kind of spam callers and they just want to hear your voice so they can go and try to duplicate that and wipe out your account. So all kind of things are going on. You got, since this pandemic, you got <laughs> the, the people in the ministry field has grown <laughs> and blown. You know, everybody got a platform, everybody on Facebook. Uh, you don't know who is who, and you don't know the real prophet, you know, from the false prophet, uh, if you're not <laughs> discerning, okay? And so God wants us to know today. He said, beware. You know, when you uh, see a lot of houses and uh, builders and stuff, if they have a dog on the premises, they'll have a sign posted, and it say, beware of dogs. They're letting you know, be cautious. Uh, we got an animal. There's something in here that just might bite you. And even though the owner will always tell you, oh, they don't bite. <laughs> now, y'all don't be your, I see them teeth. I be like, hey, do they bite food? <laughs> oh, they, they might bite my meat. So, uh, you know, I'm just, that's my thing with animals, right? Oof. Only dog I'm not afraid of is the one I used to have. But uh, I like them. Everybody got one. <laughs> that's nice. You know, <laughs> do you? And so anyway, they have signs say, beware, because if you go there and get bit, what they're saying is, is at your own risk. Ha, <laughs> glory to God. And so God is saying, beware of false prophets. If you invite a false prophet into your house, if you invite a false prophet into your pulpit, and they derail all of your members, glory to God. That's why he's saying, beware. They will come in and they will cause divisions. They come in, he say, don't be deceived by their charisma and, and all that flair that they got going on. He says, um, but look at the character. And he says, um, that's what we got to be more keen to the spirit of God. He said, because a real prophet, they're not going to come in and exploit your congregation. They're not going to come in and uh, take advantage of the emotions of your congregation to get to their purses or their wallets. And people do that. You have these false prophets and everybody flock out to them and 
they go and hear them. Now, there's some real true prophets, y'all. You just, God is just saying, he just wants y'all to know the difference, okay? And so, you have some, they, they set up their platform and they say, oh, this prophet is in town and everybody flocks to him and everybody's running. And when he finished, everybody hollering and screaming. They, they, get you, uh, uh, <laughs> they get you excited just enough. And then it's time for the offering. You know what I'm saying? All right, if you sow 2,000, 5,000, you know, they just, all that kind of stuff. And uh, so now you are emotional. You're high and uh, you be cleaning out your bank account. And you be doing all kind of stuff. And then because they say you're going to get blessed and you're going to get this and you're going to get that. And you give it all. And the next day, you over there with your head down and wonder what happened and what did you do. A false prophet has come in and played off of your emotions that got to your pocketbook or your wallet. And uh, like I say, so you don't sow based on your emotions. You sow based on being led by the Spirit. What is God saying? What did God tell you to sow? How is God leading you? So don't get it mixed up, okay? And uh, that's what God is, He wants us to do. He told us in the uh, in his word, how you tell a false prophet. He said, if a prophet comes in, I think it was in uh, back in uh, Deuteronomy, how you tell a false prophet? He said, a false prophet is one that comes in, they speak, <laughs> but they can't deliver. <laughs> they can't deliver on their promise. Okay? They come in and get you roused up, but they can't deliver nothing. And you over there thinking you delivered, and you got demonic spirits all over you so he wants to warn his people today especially during this time and this pandemic you know people accounts are being hacked and you get all these spam people calling you and to the point that and nobody wants to answer the phone when a real person call <laughs> we block them because so much is going on somebody wanting to duplicate you and so beware beware of that beware of oh, fraudulent activity you know, the banks, uh, they tell you now when you make a transaction, I always get an alert. You just use your debit card and they won't know what's at you. You know, somebody used your uh, different uh, computer. They want to know if that's you. They, they're letting you know. They're alerting you. Beware because it's out here, y'all. It is out here. Beware of those singers. Beware of them men that come to you. <laughs> Look like they know the Bible. Got it tucked under their arm, but it's not in their heart. And y'all falling all over. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh he, he know the Lord. Ooh, he had his Bible. The devil got a Bible. Oh, glory. And guess what? And know it. So y'all don't be in such a hurry. So emotional. You like the rabbit got a habit. Okay. And, and you got a habit. And then you wish it hadn't. So y'all slow down, slow down, slow down. <laughs> That's extra plug for the sink folk. And, uh. Then you got the mad folk. They're like, oh, we don't want to be mad no more. So, so everything is going on right now. The devil is running rampant. And God wants you to know who is operating. He wants you to know which spirit is in operation. You know, he, you can, the devil can take a, a person that you consider good and good character, well-behaved, person of integrity. And uh, when they hit that weak moment, just, it don't take but one, just and it's a, just a small crack. And uh, if they get mad, that's the devil's opportunity. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to ease in right here. And he'll ease in right there at that crack. And they say, you know, that person will be fussing at you. And they'll be seeing things out of order. And you be like, wow, what? what happened? He wants you to know uh, that's a different spirit in operation. And don't entertain it. Cast that spirit out. He wants you to know that. Can't get away gnats. Cast some gnats out in the blood of Jesus. Woo. And so that's what God wants you to know, y'all. Don't be ignorant. And so he said, beware of false prophets. Beware. Hallelujah. They are diseased trees. My God, I like that, y'all. That's the message version. Diseased trees with bad apples. Y'all that'll preach. <laughs> I might need to exegete that thing. Get a little deeper. Diseased trees. With bad apples. That's what a false prophet is. He's a diseased tree. Ha! Ah, glory to God. With bad apples. And the folk don't know the difference. Ha! Ah, glory. Y'all take that and run with it. Okay. 
So watch your company. You might be in the midst of a bunch of diseased trees. Ha! <laughs> With bad apples. Glory to God. Watch those people that come to you and look enticing. Can't deliver nothing. You know, they just sit down and they study the word. They get in the mirror. They practice the hoop and the holler. They practice the scream. You ever, you ever seen people that, uh, even in singing, you know, you have the gospel artists and they be singing and they be in the spirit and they get to a certain part. They holler. They might say, oh God. And they might scream and say, whoo. And then you practice the song, right? Y'all ever notice, I'm saying this to be true. And uh, the lead person, and uh, choir be singing, the lead person. And when the lead person sings the song like that gospel artist, right at that point where that artist holler, they holler. <laughs> right at that point when the artist said, thank you, Jesus, they say it verbatim. All you did is rehearse that gospel artist singing. And you trying to sing <laughs> uh, with her spirit. It, it, won't, it won't work. <laughs> it won't work out. Uh, disease tree <laughs> with bad apples. You got to be you. Let the Holy Spirit lead you and let the Holy Spirit guide you. Okay? So, people, beware. Amen. Beware of anything that looks suspicious. Beware of the way people approach you. Uh, some people are too common with you. And when they get too common with you, they think they can say anything to you. Well, honey, <laughs> uh, they don't get away with too much of that with the girl. Not the girl. You come to me laughing and carrying on. I'm going to laugh. <laughs> and uh, right at that point where they can never tell about me, right? Because I got the same, like, I look like this, right? And they think they can joke and do all kind of foolish stuff. They get to the same point, honey, the eyebrows come down. Okay, they don't be winking either. <laughs> Beware, honey. I, I know when that thing shift. Trust me, I know when things change. And so, there's nothing wrong with that either, y'all. And you gotta stop them. Stop them jokers in their track. Don't be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. Bad company. They will corrupt your character. Don't go into them. You need to let them come into you. They will change you after their guys. Why? You have to be careful. You don't want your character to be like them. False teachers. If they come to you teaching one thing and doing another, that's a diseased tree. <laughs> With bad apples. I'm preaching that thing, y'all. Okay. That's what it is. I'm telling y'all. Glory to God. You got these people. They profess to be a Christian. They profess to be saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Spirit. And you see them praising God and falling out in the church and at the church. <laughs> uh, oh, you see some pictures. See, people need to stop posting all these videos. And uh, they lifestyle is different than that one you saw in the church. That, that, that person you met at the church, you know, how you, you know how you double take a video? You look at the video and <laughs> then you go back and look at it again because you want to make sure. Is that the same person uh, <laughs> that I just saw falling out all over the church and slobbing and jumping pews? and A different lifestyle. Disease tree. <laughs> With bad apples. Y'all better look. Y'all better look. And then... You got those people who so decisive. They indecisive in the church. They they take a group and they say, With this group over here, uh, we're going to go against what they say. And uh, they're looking for the law. How you doing? All right. And uh, just like in the Bible when Jesus was doing all those good things and letting everybody know that he was, he was God. He was the true and living God. And he was doing things on the Sabbath. And he was healing and casting out demons and stuff. And the people, all they talked about was, <laughs> the law said, you violated the law. This ain't the law. And Jesus said, I'm not of this world. <laughs> yeah, let him know. I'm not of this world. And only people that know me can believe me. And so he gave us the, the, the right. He gave us the choice. 
to believe him or not believe him that only God can raise somebody from the dead. And they were there worrying about the law. Hey, who, who healed this man? The man at the pool of Shalom. He, he been sick for 38 years and all of a sudden he gets healed and y'all worrying about the law cause he took his bed up and walked. What? And that was considered a type of work. And he did it on the Sabbath and they, they, they didn't so much get involved with uh, Hey, he's healed, and they couldn't rejoice with him. Why? Because they were looking at the law. Y'all cannot rejoice with some people for looking at the law. Head of the bullshit. You got to stop looking at the law and look at the word. Hallelujah. What does the word say? Then you take that word, you weigh it up against your law. If your law is contrary to the word of God, delete your law. Head of the bullshit. Take the word, glory to God, and run with the word. That's what God wants. Hallelujah. And so you have people like that in the church. and they I don't care what the church vote on. It, they, it's all, everybody in favor say yay, and, and they're going to say nay. You know, and then come those times when you should say no, they're going to say yes. So you have that group, and... Uh, well, we call them cliques in groups, groups in the church. I call them terrorist groups in the church. <laughs> They're always trying to tear down something, okay? Always trying to cause explosions. Always trying to separate and divide. <laughs> them terrorist groups, y'all. Ha, ah, glory. And uh, they, they, they just about trouble, okay? So beware of those kind of people. Beware, even sitting beside those kind in the church. Beware of sitting beside somebody gossiping through the whole service. You can't hear the word and tap you on the shoulder. Well, who that? Isn't that James' son? Well, I think he got two eyes. Well, what he done preaching? I think this is third marriage. What? You up in there. What you come to church for? You ain't got nobody at home to talk to? That's all you do up in there gossiping. Mm, I heard she praying. <laughs> I heard the man. Did you hear what the word said? He that is without sin, let him first cast a stone. Okay, D did you hear that? Glory to God. Did you hear uh, what the word said about forgiving? Did you hear that? Glory to God. Did you hear what the word said about repent? Yeah. Beware of those folks sitting beside you. <laughs> uh, change seats. Because <laughs> uh, they came to church for a different reason. So, that's what God is telling us today. Glory to God. Beware. Of the people that's flocking around you. Some people just want to flock around you for your name's sake. There are certain people that just by their name, people are attracted to them. Just by their name, people are drawn. They know their spirit. There are some people who really know your spirit. And so when a person comes and try to tear you down, and you know that everything you're doing is of good intent, a good person will let that bad person know who's trying to tear you down that that is not the truth. But sometimes, unfortunately, they will not stand up for the truth. They will sit back there. They listen to your gossip. They will join in with your gossip. And they know good and well. And the folks say they know good and well. It ain't true. But they itch your ears. And that's what the Bible said. At the end, they have itchy ears. Uh, they don't believe in sound doctrine. And then when they get all that juicy stuff from you, what they do? They, they carry us like disease. They, they carry it to the next person. Very contagious. So that's a disease tree. <laughs> We're bad apples. I'm loving that, right? So God is good. And that's what he's saying today, y'all. From his word. Glory to God. He's talking to us today. From Matthew 7 chapter. Beware. False prophets. They will come to you in sheep clothing, but they are raving wolves. And the word said it was going to be cut down. Glory to God. We don't condemn. God does. And just know that no weapon formed against you will ever prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, God said, I will condemn. 
He's letting us know. <laughs> the judge is coming. Jesus said. I just came to tell y'all the truth. I just came to let y'all know uh, right from wrong. I just came to show y'all the way. But the word said there is a judge. There's one coming after me. Just like when John came and introduced uh, Jesus as the forerunner. Now, I'm just baptizing y'all with water. But there's one coming. It's going to baptize y'all with fire. <laughs> Ooh, glory. That of the Holy Ghost. And uh, Jesus, when he came, and he started teaching the people, he, I'm just teaching y'all. I'm just showing y'all the way. Everything that needs to be done, I'm showing y'all. He said, but there's a judge coming. <laughs> Glory to God. Y'all see how it's passed on? There's a judge coming. He coming to judge the world. And that ain't the time to get it right. Because <laughs> when he come, <laughs> he going to judge the world. Is your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life? And if not, you have that opportunity today. Give your life to Jesus. He is the Son of God. He died. He rose. He died. He was buried. And he rose. He ascended. And now he's sitting on the right hand of God the Father. He's building a mansion for his people. And he's going to come back for his own. You want to be in that number. You want your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. All right? So, y'all catch it. Beware. Hallelujah. Don't be naive. Beware. Them false prophets. Look around your company. Look in your circle. Beware. Ha! Of the people that surround you. Beware of the folk among you. Beware of everybody when they speak well of you. Beware. Beware. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And be not weary in well doing. You will reap. You faint not. Disease trees with bad apples. All right, y'all. I'm going to get on out of here. Y'all have a great day. I want y'all to know I'm glad I came out. And I'm glad that van <laughs> decided to come on after he got his donut on. I guess he said, we can travel now. My mother used to sing this song. Uh, got on my traveling shoes. I can travel now. Guess that van said, we can travel now. Ha! <laughs> We're on our way. And I want y'all to know this is the best, best afternoon I will ever have today. Because I'm going to beware. <laughs> and it might be you. Ha! Catch it.